Hey you guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way, and I'm doing a recipe, you guys, Depression Era, mm-mm-mm, water pie, water pie, water pie, water pie, this pie is made out of water, y'all stay tuned and see if it's a fail or if it's a thumbs up, oh yeah, and we'll be mukbanging this thing on Promo STK, eating good in the neighborhood. So y'all make sure y'all tune in to my channel. Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Shella's Creations Way. And y'all, I'm going to be making a Depression Era water pie recipe as seen on Paula Dean, okay? And I saw her do it and I'm like, mm, I don't know. So I got my oven preheated. It's preheating to 400. I got my pie shells right here, y'all. Got my pie shells. And it calls for two cups of hot water. So, well, actually, she said two cups of water, but all the other ingredients I've been looking at says two cups of hot water. So I'm going to do the two cups of hot water. I'm let my water run. I'm going to get me some hot water. And... I have my my butter, I have my all-purpose flour, I have my sugar, and we're going to see what this water pie recipe is all about, okay? All right, you guys, so it's actually not two cups of water, but one and a half cups. So let's go ahead and get this hot water in here. So we got one and a half cup. We'll put it, and we do have deep pie shell. So that's one and a half cup. And let's get the other one and a half cup. This is like an experiment, y'all. So I'm like, how in the world? All right. Go step by step, so hold on. Okay, y'all. Um, so it says to take your all purpose flour, which I'm getting ready to do now, and take your sugar and your sugar and put it in here with your flour. Alright, you guys, let me go ahead and get this flour and sugar mix. I see that the water is making the crust crackle a little bit. I think I may have it in there too long. So, anyway, I'm gonna take and they say take the flour mixture and just drizzle it in here. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how much, y'all, but I'm gonna. Do all I got on here. The flour mixture. I'll do the same for this one. And I think what, and this is all purpose. I think what the all purpose does is kind of keep everything together anyway. So, let me make sure. And they say just, just drizzle. So, I think this is all I'm going to put in there for that. I don't know about how much, but think back in the depression time they just had whatever they had and that was it anyway that's probably too much but we're gonna see how it do and then i gotta get my um my butter you know for that stuff and then from the way i saw it they were using like five packs per each but um i don't know i'm probably messing this up y'all this may be a fail but we're gonna put the five packs in there too. Maybe it was four. I don't know. So we're just gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do we're gonna do still do five. I think it was five. So I got Paul Dean playing the background, but I didn't see any measurements particularly. And 
So if this is a fail, it's all on me, y'all. This is a fail, it's all on me. Y'all see that? This is a fail, it's all on me. So that's five pass in there. And then the fifth pad in there. I got flour all on my hand, y'all. Now I'm gonna put, drizzle some uh, vanilla flavoring in here. Ooh, I think that may have been too much, y'all. I don't know. I'm just curious how this gonna all turn out. But I am gonna put just some extra sugar in here because I just don't know about this water stuff. So I'm gonna put just meat sprinkles and some sugar in here. Just like this. And I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put this in the um, oven. Oven again was preheated at 400. And uh, I think it's supposed to go in there for like an hour. All right, so we'll see y'all back after it's done in the oven. Woohoo! Okay, y'all. Y'all saw me put that those babies in the oven. And just so you know, it's supposed to stay in there for 30 minutes on 400, then reduce to 375 for another 30 minutes. Cover the edges of the crust just in case at that point so they won't brown, get overly brown. We'll see about that. And then let it stay in there for another 30 minutes. And after that, it'll still, when you take it out of the oven, it's supposed to be still a little watery, but it's supposed to gel. So you put it in the refrigerator and let it stay in the refrigerator overnight. So we won't be trying this out until tomorrow. Ooh. So, P-R-O-M-O-S-E-K, Shell's Creations Way. We're gonna see how this depression era water pie turns out, okay? <laughs> P-R-O-M-O-S-E-K, we'll be muckbanging it on eating good in the neighborhood. But I will show you a picture of how it turns out once I get it out of the oven, okay? All right, you guys, so it's time for me to take the pies out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I did have to go in and tint them. It did say it was gonna be a little watery when I take them out and there's a little jiggly. Okay. Let's go ahead and have my cornbread in here. I'm just gonna put my cornbread on the top shelf. There we go. Let that finish baking. But let's get back to the pie, y'all. Let's get back to the pie. All right, you guys. So I did have to tint it so that the crust would not brown. And they have to cool now for about 35 minutes to an hour. And once they're done cooling, then you have to put them in the refrigerator. They refrigerate overnight. So you see the little jiggliness? They say it's gonna be a little jiggly. So it is, all right? but it smells really good. So, we'll see you guys back in the morning with these water pies. And we'll see if it's a fail or if it is a thumbs up, okay? All right, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shilla's Creations Way is where y'all saw this created. P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Eating Good in the Neighborhood is where y'all gonna see us test it. Y'all, this is water pies, made of water, mm-mm-mm. Let's check it out.